things that the devil's trying to play within these walls. But I'm going to preach to you just for a minute. Bless the Lord. And then it's up to you. Amen. Amen. I feel like the Lord whenever I got to see him. The song said that the devil walked on me long enough. Yeah. Now it's time for me to walk on the devil. Yeah. Now I'm going to try to help us just for a minute. What are you going to do with the devil? Luke 22 and verse number 31. What are you going to do with the devil? Luke 22, verse number 31. Bless you, Chad. I appreciate y'all getting into worship tonight. But it's still what where I thought it could be. Right. That's right. How about what you said, brother? It's almost there. It's almost there. Amen. We just we just think we're in the surrender. That's right. What are you gonna do with that? Amen. Amen. It seems like sometimes, Brother Joe, we get one foot up on the devil. And we just tell you. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Amen. Is that what we're at? Thinking that, thinking that we've got it conquered because we got one foot up there. You ain't got it conquered until you're standing there with victory. Until you're standing with victory Amen. in your heart, in your life, knowing that you've overcame and that you've conquered yeah. the things in your life. Luke 22 and 31 said this, said, the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you that he may sift you as we. You may be seen. Thank you for standing. Now, I thought, I thought, uh, again, that this is another one of those, you're going to have to pray for me. Come to me right there on the seat. Uh, but I, I thought how the service went and how the services has been lately, and we all know uh, that, that we've been struggling. I'm just going to be honest, be blunt with you. We've struggled uh, to worship the Lord. But, uh, in, in this scripture, he told Simon, he said, Simon, he said that, that the Satan had desired to sift you. And uh, I, I want to preach a thought the Lord gave me, like I told you. Uh, what, what are you going to do with the devil? Amen. Every one of you in here tonight are a face of the devil. Every one of you, amen, find a warfare in your mind of the devil. And every one of you know, amen, how the heart it is. Amen. I told Grace you just. I'm aggravating her. I said, I'm glad to see you sitting up here tonight. I said, because when you sit back there, the first thing that enters my mind is the devil's trying to drag them out the door. And I thought I wouldn't embarrass you for nothing, Gracie. But she looked back at me and she said, he's sure trying. But I want to let some others know tonight that the devil wants you. And the Simon, of the man that he was, it gave the devil, I wanted him so bad, amen, that he wanted to sift him, and take and strip him, of everything of himself, of what makes you think tonight, that the devil is going to leave you alone, he's not going to leave you alone, but you've got to be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world, and so can you, It's clumsy. It balls it all up. Amen. But when they get that sister, 
and they run it through them little holes. It strips itself. Amen. Of all the things that held it together. And it becomes in its small grains like it was. Amen. The devil wants to strip you and everything that you got. He wants to steal your testimony. He wants to steal your joy. He wants to steal your song. He wants to steal hey. He wants to steal you. A crystal from worshiping God. Amen. But it don't have to be that way. I said it don't have to be that way. Oh God. Amen. He wants us to worship Him. He wants us to praise Him. But when we can't worship and we can't praise, we're letting the devil walk on us instead of us walking on the devil. He said, the devil desired to have you. Uh, Amen. Simon Peter. Amen was the one. Then he went to the Lord. And he told the Lord. He said, Lord. He said, I'll go with you. Always. I mean, y'all told the Lord that. Uh, Lord, I'll go with you always. I'll never leave you. I'll follow you wherever you want me to go. Oh, my. Oh, but Jesus looked at him, Brother Brandon. And he said, Before the cock crow drives, uh, you'll deny me. Amen, you'll deny me. Uh, before the cock crow, amen, I want to let you know something. It's easy for you. Amen, out in the Ecclesiastes 5, hey, the scripture said uh, that it's better not to make a vow uh, than to make a vow not keep it. Uh, somebody's made God promises uh, on these very altars right here. Uh, and you went back to uh, uh, to doing the things uh, that you told God you wouldn't do. Uh, you went back to doing the things uh, that you promised God. God, I'll follow you. Uh, God, I'll do you will. And you went back to the things uh, that you said you wouldn't. Uh, Simon, I said, Simon, uh, Satan deserves uh, to have you and to send you as we. Amen. We'll make God promises on the altar. Especially when the spirit's high like it was tonight. We'll say, Lord, whatever it is that you want me to do, I'll do it. Lord, you just tell me what it is. You show me where you want me to go, I'll go. Me and you talked about this last week. It's easy whenever we're down in the up in front of people when the spirit's high. Just to let it out. Just to make promises. Amen. When the Lord showed me. Amen. We make promises that we ain't kept. That's why some of us is hindered in our worship. Amen. That's why some of us is hindered in our worship. Amen. But when you go back to them things, amen, that you promised God. And you said, God, amen, I'm sorry I broke my promise. But God, I want to follow you. Amen. You know what? Said the Lord. And you said, well, preacher, the devil broke me so hard. And I can't seem to pray the Lord. I can't seem to do nothing right. Every angle I come. Amen. The devil's at me. Read the next verse below where I stopped at. Verse number 32. Of what it say? It said, but Simon, I have prayed for thee. Amen. Let me tell you tonight. When the enemy's attacking you and the enemies are fighting you, it's not a battle on your own. Uh, Jesus of uh, letters in red yeah. even said in hell. He said, But I pray for you. Yeah. Think about the time uh, that you've been fighting the battle. Uh, but Jesus has been praying. Uh, God help him. Yeah. Ah! I'm stripping them. Uh, God don't let them be to me. Yeah. Satan deserves to have you. But God's a praying for you. Yeah. so hard. But yet Jesus has said, Father, give them courage. Father, give them the strength to raise their hands. Amen. Amen. Father, don't let them die. Defeated. If they die, and Brother Jeremy changed the song, when I die, I want to die for praise of the Lord. I don't want to go down. Uh, in, the, in the sister of the devil. I don't want to go down and defeat him with the devil. But you're still in there thing that I've got. Amen. How many of y'all believe in shouting? How many of you believe in shouting? How many of you believe in still real? Amen. I do. How many of you believe in praying?
praising the Lord. Remember the devil steered it away from this place. I said the devil steered it away from this place. No long enough. We sat back and let the devil put us in a center. Amen. It's time we get up.
If for nothing else, I can feed off the most of them. Those are the How many of you did not do that? That in the last month, I'm going to just back up a minute. In the last month, your faith and your spirit has been low. probably say that the devil has tried to put you in the suffering. If he's not literally got you in a war fire in your own life, you're a big enemy. If he's not trying to fight you within yourself, don't raise your hand. Everybody will look at you like you're crazy. Don't you dare tell them how much you're glad you're saved. They all know what kind of hater you be. Amen. Amen. But it don't matter. It don't matter if you want to hear it or not. Amen. If the Bible said that if the Spirit of the Lord sets you free, that you're free in there. Amen. It don't matter what you think. It don't matter what the church up or wrong thing. But all that matters is what the Lord is doing. I cannot bear the load of guilt and shame that I'm carrying. 
I cannot bear uh, the thoughts of my family uh, uh, dying and going to hell. I cannot bear the thoughts uh, of my friends forsaking me uh, uh, for the cause of living right. Uh, amen. Whose side? Uh, amen. Are you going to be on? Uh, are you going to be on God's side? Uh, are you going to be on the devil's side? Uh, uh, what are you going to do to the devil? Uh, you're going to entertain him uh, and you're going to feed him uh, and you're going to give him what he wants. Uh, you know what he wants tonight? Uh, he wants your life. Uh, he wants every inch of you. Uh, he wants everything you've done. Uh, he don't want you to have nothing uh, uh, for God, uh, but he wants everything uh, uh, that you got for God.
get down here cruising. <coughs> being drawn together. See this. Yes. Think about being drawn together. Go down like your father.
same way ghosts are laid. Hold him. Hold him. Amen. There's not a place I can figure right now. All the package. I'm looking at all of them. I'm looking to my left. I'm looking to my right. I'm looking straight ahead. There's not a place that I can get through. Y'all get a hold of that. <laughs> There's not a place that I can get through. Yeah, thank you, Lord. When we're like that, the enemy has no way to church. That's right. Amen. 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 That's right. We can't go to the left. Can't go straight ahead. Can't go to the right. Listen. Because we've got a hole. That's right. Amen. Amen.
living before long, instead of the devil coming into your life, you're inviting him to come. <laughs> It's one thing for the devil to come into your home and try to destroy your home, Lord. But it's another thing for you to invite him. Amen. Give him a reason to come into your house. But I'm going to tell you something. If you'll keep your hands in the air, if you'll keep your lips to praise the Lord, the devil will have a chance. Preacher, you start saying, I'll never fight the devil. I'm not saying that. But how can he get through the praise of God and the and the How is he going to get through your worship? And still, put you in a shelter. God allowed the devil. How many of y'all remember the conversation in Job chapter 1? That the devil had with God. God told him, Sister Pam, he said, just try my sermon too. You, you can take everything he has got in life. I want you to realize something. You act like it's the end of the world. We all do. I do. We act like it's the end of the world when the enemy comes at us. But if you're really a child of God, Brother Jeremy, the devil can't take you to school. You can give it to him, but he can't take it. Thank you. 